it's my pleasure to introduce my own uh, suggestion on the innovation technology in middle industry in Ukraine. Uh, my suggestion in this part, I will start from the what is the purpose we teach the student? Of course, we we'll hope the student can be a good man. They can support themselves and their family. They can contribute to their company. They can build a good company and a factory. They can contribute to their country and uh, even to the world. This is very important. And then let us have a understand a little bit about the world situation. The world situation, you can see the meat production is increased continuously and the beef, beef cattle uh, and beef industry also increased from uh, 2016 until 2018. This is kind of increased a little bit. Okay, this is kind of a little bit, that means we have this kind of uh, hope in the future. And in the whole area, you can see uh, the number one still is the uh, United States. The second place is Brazil. And of course, European Union is the third, uh, third one. Uh, how about the Ukraine? Ukraine is on the 20s. Okay, and also in this kind of level, this is the, also the very uh, highest production on the beef uh, production. And uh, of course, from the global pork production point of view, you can see uh, this kind of name is from the uh, European Union, the United States, Brazil, etc. Okay. Uh, this uh, is quite, a, quite an interesting one because uh, the biggest one and the lowest one is, uh, is, uh, have a big difference. The first one is China. When we will uh, sell this kind of beef meat, we usually we will say whole sales beef cut. We cut it into the different parts because different parts will have uh, different taste. Okay. Meat near the leg and the neck is a uh, tops, and those muscles do the most work. Because they are doing the work, they are working and doing, turning their head, so their uh, meat is a uh, tough. And the tough meat usually for tough purpose. Okay, and uh, not tough per, uh, part of the meat is using for loss or something else. Okay, and of course, uh, the retail beef cuts also depend on this kind of uh, chunk, rib, short lion, sorrel, and uh, breast, and uh, plate, flank, and round. And then, so, because they are divided into this kind of different parts, so when we were using this kind of meat, we usually will cut into the different parts so, so we can sell to the different people and they are using for different purposes to cook uh, Why we will, we will cut like this way? Another reason is because different purposes have different price so we can get a different profit and then once we get a different profit and then you can see the total profit will be higher and so the, the retail people will get the more profit from this one. Basically speaking, we can find the, the average live animal weight for beef is about 450 to 550. About this kind of KG, they sell in, uh, the live weight selling to the market. But be careful, in the beef industry you have light beef, for example, uh, 150 kilograms, 350 kilograms, sometimes five, uh, 450 to uh, 550. But occasionally they also have 600 uh, kilograms. So they basically they are average is about 450 to 550. Okay, as for the pork and the lamb, you can see from the this table. This table you will see the pork. Uh, so Weight is from the 95 to 135. In the old time, it's only 95 to 100 or 110. But now it's increased a lot to 135. Even in Italia, they are uh, selling to the market weight. It's about 150, even higher than 150. Okay, so the different countries have different customs. 
throughout the cutting method. The, because we need to know the we need to training the student in different way. Uh, so we need to know what kind of cutting method they are using throughout our cutting method. Both slot and cutting method we have a manual, manual way, semi-automatic way, and automatic way. You have to understand that it's not the same we are today we are using the automatic machine or semi-automatic machine, we will not be using the manual, manual one. That is that's wrong because in many places they still is using the manual one. So in this case you have to learn everything. And the manual one has some kind of advantage. This kind of advantage you can see from here. Uh, basically speaking, you can see if you can understand all these kind of things clearly and then in the future when you are doing this kind of slot work and you are more easy to do it and also more easy to earn money. For example, meat. You can see the beef meat is bright, cherry red. Okay? And the, the view is light pink to the red. View sometimes is a really very light pink. Okay? So different meat will have different color. This is a, we always be, should be consider, considered about this. You can see everyone said the red meat, the red meat, the red meat is beef, gold, and lamb. And then a little bit of uh, white meat is chicken. Okay? And the people usually say pork is another white meat. That is why they say the grey, grayish pink. Okay, this is a uh, we have to understand. Uh, from this kind of whole chain, we can see if we want a, a slaughterhouse, and we usually will start from the selected animals. Also, you are engineering student, but you have to understand you have to select animals related to your product and profit. Because if you select animal not properly, and then you will find you are easy to get the lower profit. Okay, and your product is also not very good. So select animal become very important, even the breed. The second one is transportation. Transportation is from the farmer to the slaughterhouse. This is related to your product, profit, and also humanity. Humanity is something animal welfare. Holding pens related to your product, profit, and humanity, and also easy operation. Holding pens. They were loading here, and then they will go to the, uh, go to the euthanasia place. And the euthanasia place is the most uh, important thing is be careful about the humanity. Okay, because if you are not in humanity way to deal with animal, one day the animal welfare people will criticize you. And then the second continuous slaughter method. Cutting method, cooling method, cooling. And the cooling is very important because you are engineering student. And the engineering student, you have to learn the cooling. Include the air condition, include all this kind of uh, insulation of the of your cooling place, and then you can save money and you can get the purpose because car does need a cooling, and so car does need a cooling, and then they can mature the cars. And the when they are cars is cooling, and they were waiting until the cars is transportation. Cars transportation is different from the animals transportation. Because cargo's transportation is depends on the on the general transport based on the core uh, truck. Okay, and another thing is very important uh, that is me during all this kind of procedure you need uh, to have a good management. Like good management you have to follow some kind of uh, managing method. For example, this one is HACCB, okay, related to your products and the profit. Because if your management is not good, and then you will get a very bad uh, selling price. Most of the training starts from the menu to semi-automatic and uh, then automatic. The reason is because, you know, many people want to go directly to the automatic. Uh, when I was training in the Netherlands, they are always training me on the menu one, and then semi-automatic one, and then automatic, uh, totally automatic. The, because the learning person can learn basic principle. If you start from the uh, manual one, you can learn the basic principle and then they can operate and design machine more logical way. 
Once you know how to uh, slot the animal in menu, menu one, and then you will find uh, you are you know the whole basic principle, and then you can design a whole four if you uh, four automatic uh, this kind of slot machine or cutting machine. Okay, and the cutting equipment, and then you 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 have to know the cutting equipment. And the, sorry, the cutting tables. You have to learn, you have to have all these kind of things. Okay, be careful. Usually it's with hard plastic top. And if good, and you will be, be careful, and in, you use instead of the plastic one, only the tight, very tight wooden uh, tops. Otherwise, the wooden chips will go into the meat, and then they will cause big trouble. And of course, knives. Different situation, you will have different knives. Boning, you use 20 centimeters straight knife, and uh, the sticker using 30 centimeters curved knives. Okay, all these kind of things you have to understand. And of course, you need to have a mid saw. Mid saw is bend and electrical, and this part is very important one. Toe spins and mid uh, traps, uh, wrapping papers, okay, papers and plastic foil. And this kind of plastic foil sometimes is ready, and this kind of uh, meat uh, towards all the metal mask, safety growers, because you have to protect yourself, otherwise your hand will be easily to, to be hurt. And another important thing is because you're working in the uh, very cold environment, and once you're working in the cold environment, if you do not have uh, uh, growers, and it's not only for uh, to avoid the cutting by the machine, but by, by the knife, knife, or other things. But another important thing is because you can keep your uh, thing, finger or hands warm, okay? Bonding upon the safety of bones and hand wash basin, a knife sterilizer, okay? You have to be careful about things. We understand the, the university. Many people ask me, say, which university they have this kind of uh, uh, on farm slot, on the university slaughterhouse? I, I should say, many American and European universities have this kind of slaughterhouse. All universities have cutting and uh, meat processing house. Okay? Because slaughterhouse is not for sale meat. The university slaughterhouse is not only for sale meat, but for training and the research purpose. This is a very important idea because you have a university slaughterhouse. It's not for selling. You have to tell the government and say this is not for selling. We are only for to buy the animal to slot, and then we can uh, teach the student. We can doing research work, and we can doing many things. And so this is a very important. You have this kind of things. Otherwise, you have no any animal. Using in slaughter in the university, that means your student cannot learn anything. Okay, slaughter house is not for sale. What I said, I repeat again. And the training not only for engineering student, but also for animal production student. Because energy, uh, the engineering students they are know how to use the equipment, how to use the, how, how to use the engine, all this kind of uh, facility. Uh, to slot animal, but the animal students they need to using the cut part of the animal to do their uh, research or to do their teaching jobs, teaching works. Slot house is not only for the engineering department, but it's also for animal production and nutrition research. Because if you are doing the research work on the nutrition of the big cattle, and then you will find the Finally, you need to go to the slaughterhouse. If you have no slaughterhouse, your animal nutrition, especially beef cattle nutrition people, cannot be careful doing all this nutrition work. If they cannot do all this kind of uh, carcass evaluation, and then you will find that they are actually not easy to achieve. It's a very good uh, training or very good research work. It is not only for the professor, but also for the postgraduate student. The very important things. Of course, sometimes some professor's uh, research work is did by the postgraduate student. But don't forget, usually uh, 
professor doing some kind of project, and the postgraduate student doing some kind of other project. So the postgraduate student can help the professor to do more research. Okay, this is very important. The meat is not for consumption, but for research. We have to understand the meat is not for consumption. So the university's meat slaughterhouse is not for consumption. We only occasionally will slaughter the animals. It's not a slaughter animal every day. And the occasional slaughter animal, then the occasional this kind of slaughter animal can use it for uh, engineering people to understand all the cutting uh, method and also can help the student to do their research work, even for the professor doing this kind of research work. And uh, you know, in the university, university at the practical side, and we will find that university training is usually is divided into two parts. One part is theory, one part is a practical one. The theory part is uh, teaching your personality. And go to the university, you need to have a good personality. And of course, you are very main subject of uh, training. Main subject of training, for example, in this case is a uh, meat processing. Okay, and uh, assist and uh, associate the subject tra training. Uh, for example, they are uh, understand all these kind of things uh, with assistant or assisted and associated subject. And the practical tra uh, training, you can see the practical training is on paper. Sometimes it's not really practical training. Of course, you can also training the, the student on the paper and tell them on the paper, on the books, on the textbook, etc. And then you will find that they are training only on paper. And this kind of training usually is not so good for the student. And uh, maybe you need to let them have learning by doing or hands on learning. So if they are learning by doing, doing things, and then they will have experience. And then, of course, the last one, how to present yourself to let the other people to understand it. This is also practical training. Practical training includes this kind of training, including how to use in the PPT, how to use in the practical training, how to use the demonstrating training and training the student. So this is become a very important part. We always say learning by doing, learning by doing. What does it really mean learning by doing? Learning something and doing, then you will not forget easily. Okay, that is very important because you are doing it. Uh, we always say we try to remember in our mind. That is not easy because you always try to use memory, but easy to forget. And if you can do it once or twice, or even three times, or continuously, and then you can easily to remember and not forget. It also builds up the confidence of your future to do things. Because you did these things once, so you have confidence. If you do not do these kind of things, any times, any chance, and you always talking, and then you will become talking, but not doing things, so you have no confidence. One day people ask you to, do, to help them to solve problem, and then you will say, no, I cannot do it because I didn't do it before. So be careful, learning by doing is really very important. You can find a new method to do it. Because you are learning by doing, you are doing it by your hands. And then next time you will think about how to design a new method new machine or new method or you even a new way to do it okay due to you are familiar with the first method because you learn the first method by learning by doing so the second method you can develop by uh, based on the first method so this is a very important one and of course learning by doing in the university is very important learning by doing through the Intern internship and uh, everyone try to emphasize on the internship I totally agree with internship because if you are working in the internship and working with another factory with a foreign countries factory etc and you can learn more things from your other people's company but but be careful usual student cannot learn the whole picture from the outside company why because when you go to the other com companies, 
you maybe only have one week, one month, or two months. When I was a student, I working in the in the farms for two months. I still cannot learn everything. Why? Because this is a too short time. You too short time. They divide into different stage. And how can you learn everything within a very short time? Okay, in this case, you will, you will find that the outside company also not welcome the student without experience. Most of people were very polite. Okay, especially in many country, uh, they are very, your company's people always very polite and say, uh, it's okay, I can teach you, I can do everything for you. But remember, they always not really happy about a student without any experience. Okay. If you have experience, and then you will find that you are easy to accept by the company. This is very in interesting. If they can accept you easily, and they can teach you more, this is a really important thing. The student can learn more fast. Because you have a learning by doing in the university, and you, are, you can learn more faster if they have experience before they go to outside the company. Okay? And so they can learn more things out in the out, uh, in outside the company, and they, because they have experience, so the learning by doing become very important inside of the university too. Okay, this is very important. However, the student might go through the whole processing once in the university, but not through the internship, because in the university you can learn everything from the beginning to the end. And the teacher always have very patient to teach you everything. So you can learn everything in the university. You will say, we have no MDA, we have no all the kind of the equipment or facility. So it's not important, but you know how to start the animal. Okay, you will see the big cattle in, go inside your university and go to your inside the university slaughterhouse and how to uh, welcome this kind of if go if cattle go inside your, your university and then you watch them and then you are handing them and they are, you are studying them and all this kind of schedule you know the general situation of the whole picture okay so you can go through so but it's this is you it's not can go through while you are working in the internship okay this is due to no, no, any company can let you go through the whole picture once. Okay, this is very important. Also, university also cannot let you do all process. University can let you have a whole picture. And whole, once you have a whole picture, you are in your whole career, in your whole your life, and you can remember all these kind of things. For example, beef cattle, you can see this kind of this schedule is quite a long schedule. Okay, receiving the live cattle, stirring them, breeding them, and then cut out the head, and then the check, check, head and shank, remover, skin, skinning, and uh, take out the inside part, spreading, or the carcass, and the trimming, zero tolerance, and the final wash, and organic acid spray, and the chilling them. Okay, once they chilling them and they go to the storage. And of course, all this kind of uh, part, other parties become very important. We also have a critical point. And the critical point is very important to ex examine whether this kind of place will have any kind of poison or will have some kind of, for example, heavy metal or even uh, some kind of nail exists in the meat. And so, this is also very important for the critical point to find out these kind of things. And also, of course, you can also see this is another kind of things, more simple one, okay? And then finally wash all these kind of carcass. And then go through the chicken, this kind of process even complicated. You can go through all these kind of parts, okay? And I know that your, your country are quite good after beef cattle and also origin in the pork. But I, I believe you also have a good chicken uh, throughout the house. And the chicken throughout the house, you can see, go through all these parts and one by one. That is very complicated. 
So you better to understand the inside of universe. Okay, so this is a very important one. Of course, another important thing is quality control and safety products of the meat industry. Okay, you need to know the to know this uh, drug residual, the poison material uh, during the processing feed editing. For example, plastic one, coating one, material one, etc. Okay, be careful all these kind of things. If you mix all these kind of things in your meat, also your cutting method is very good and everything is doing very good. But the problem is your spear will have uh, these kind of things will hurt the consumer. And once they hurt the consumer, uh, your company's products will have a very bad reputation. And once you have a very bad reputation, and you cannot sell to the market. So this is a very important one. And of course, price at the same time. Sometimes you see, this is some kind of material you can find, but it's not easy to find. It's a drug residual and some kind of chemical residual. For example, in this kind of drug residual, you have to understand how to use the GC HPLC and the GC pass pass. Okay, once you're using this kind of thing, you can detect all this kind of residual from things. And how to evaluate the meat grade, color, marbling, etc. This is, you have to learn from in the university. If you do not learn from the university, you will find that you are a stupid engineer. And maybe you are a stupid animal science, animal production people. Because both people need to understand each other at the same time. Mid color change during the processing. You have to understand why the mid color will change. Because sometimes change, the mid color will change from the blood, the red color to uh, purple color, or even to the white color. And why? Why they will change? Okay. And in this case, you you ask you people ask me say, could you point out some kind of things we can study? In our in uh, in the Ukraine in your university, I will say you can analyze drug residual in beef. You can analyze the heavy metal residual in the beef. You can analyze the meat color in beef. Meat color change during the processing. You can understand all these kind of things, and uh, you can doing all this kind of research work. And you will say this may be some people, some other countries already did this kind of things before. Don't worry because. This is not doing in your country. So the best way is doing this kind of thing in your country and you then you can get the experience. Once you get the experience and then you will find that you are easy to talk to each other about your country's beef and your country's export beef. Okay? This is a very important part. Design and meat industries in the price. Hold a picture of the meat factory. Throw a child out of the meat factories. I always encourage my own students have to understand the whole picture. Whole picture of the industry. Once you understand the whole picture of your industry, and then you know what happened in your country in this part. And of course, you need to know the flow chart. And if once you know the flow chart, and then you know what is one by one, you don't need to uh, force yourself to remember everything. But you can understand it through the flow chart, and then you can easily to understand every part. And this part you can you can ask your student draw the picture because you send your student to the uh, other companies. Other company, every company has its own way to do it on the slot and cutting. Different company have a different method. Remember, different company have a different method. This is a very important thing. So you can ask your student drawing the picture of flow chart of every company where they have internship in factory. Okay? And so in this case, not only the student can get a good impression of the different companies doing what they are doing, but also for the teacher, this is very good because you learn from the different company the so detail this kind of flow chart. This kind of whole picture, okay. So you can do this kind of things. Um, of course, microbiology, meat and the meat uh, products. Basic microbiology, fermentation and the microbiology. For example, uh, monascules and also the perberin, perberins and this kind of things. You can see the microbiology 
It's not only for disease, but also for meat processing. And once you want to produce a ferment or treat the meat, and you always can use it as a microbiology. And of course, this item, you can do a quite a lot of study. Remember this kind of study, if you do not have meat, you cannot do it. If you have meat, produce in your own slaughterhouse. So it's meat not produced, that is actually it's after slot. And this kind of meat can use it for study purpose, it's not for consumption purpose. And then you will find that this is you can do a lot of study. Okay, this is a very important part. Of course, technology seminar. I always suggest that people to have their own technology knowledge seminar. Slot and cutting related meat and uh, internal organs utilization, small and big slaughterhouse and the equipment, small and big cutting cutting facility and the equipment. How to keep the sanit uh, sanitation during the slaughterhouse? How to get the most uh, big profit during the cutting? Okay, be careful. If you can change a little bit of cutting, and then you can let the, uh, the retail people earn more money, and then your university will be more welcomed by the other people. This is a very, very important thing. Because university is not only for teaching, but also for demonstration to the business people say, we can teach the students to become a, a really operate in the business. It's not just the teaching and, and became the, uh, Confucius or became some kind of academic people. Okay, so be careful about this part. How to maintain the temperature in the slaughterhouse and the cutting house, house? Because the temperature inside a slaughterhouse will relate with one of very important things that is meat quality. Once you have good meat quality, you also always need to have a low temperature. Otherwise, the temperature is too high, and then the microbiology bacteria will develop. This is a, one kind of uh, uh, film you can see from this film. This film is very interesting. Okay, they, they are using this kind of infrared, and you also using the water loading. And you can see they can cutting, cutting this meat. And the once they cutting this meat, and they found some part of the meat. If reach a certain amount of weight, you can see they will drop down, drop down, okay? They will drop down and underneath they will transport to another place. You, you will see the second drop down, yes? And then drop down underneath they will transport to another place. So they can divide all the meat into different amounts, okay? And they can divide, they cut by the environment and they cut and they also uh, loading by the by this kind of weight machine, and then you can see, and you can very interesting one. So why not you can using this kind of things as your tool, and then you can develop this kind of machine in part of your industry. Okay, test, test, and after many test, and then you can be success and test in your industry, and your industry people will much more happy and much well, much more interesting to your university. And I believe in the future, your university will become one of the very good training places, also a very good uh, research and a demonstration uh, place. Okay, you can see, they are using this method to separate the meat, and then they are easy to hug it. And this, all this kind of method, you not only see in this kind of situation, but you also can use it for another situation. You can see different things. They are using the movement, this kind of movement uh, mechanism. And then they can pump in all this kind of thing, piece by piece. Okay? This is a really very interesting part. Uh, I hope you can learn from this kind of film. It's not only seeing the picture beautiful and also uh, clever, but you have to, based on this one, you can develop your own method. To, to doing things, okay? So this is a very important using uh, the mechanical way, okay? You are, you can using all this kind of uh, uh, radio, this kind of radio uh, uh, program to teach your student. 
and you also can use this kind of robotical hands to try to packing all these kind of products okay into the pack and then you can sell to the market uh, I I remember I already left this kind of field in your university so you can see this kind of field you can see they are packing according you by using this robotic uh, arm to pack it in all these kind of place and then it's ready and once they're ready and then they will send it to the marketplace okay and occasionally they will also using this one this way to cut the meat and once they cut the meat so then you go in and then you can see they will become the plate of the meat plant of the meat and this kind of plant of meat you will find that if you are if there is some kind of sesame or some kind of uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, taste uh, things and then you will find that they are easily after cooking they are easily to become a well cooked thing to sell into the market okay we are talking about the slaughterhouse we are talking about the cutting and finally go to this part is going go to the processing go to the uh, the final products and once you go become the final product and then you can know you if you are doing this kind of things properly and then you can get the higher uh, price in the market and another another thing is also very important one okay you can see this kind of thing is also using the automatic uh, equipment to put to let your meat go through the whole scale. You can see the whole carcass go here and they have in all the cases no no any human being is working in this this factory. Okay? Because there are no any kind of human being working in this factory. Oh sorry. Okay, this is only the first part they're using the human being. And then the next part they will go inside and then from this point onwards is always using the always using the machine to cut all this kind of part. Uh, according to the part we were talking about before. And the once they cut it into the part and then they will uh, using the robotical hands okay, to cut into the small piece. And at the beginning is cut into the large cutters and then go into the small piece and they also consider about the hygiene so they are wrapped in all this kind of robotic you are not easy to see this kind of rock in many places but in this case you can see they are wrapped the robotic by the plastic one try to avoid the dust try to avoid the microbiology or bacteria things contaminate of the of, of, of your products. You can see they are cutting because this kind of cutting they can util, utilize most of the meat. Okay, even the small part of meat they can sell it to the market. Some small part of the meat is waste bone and because waste bone so they can use it as a soup material. Okay, they can cook it as a soup and so in this case you can see and it's also another reason they are doing like this way. Not only for safe labor, but also for safety. Okay? Safe, S-A-V-E. Safety, is S-A-V-T-Y. Safety to the animal. You can see, they are using this kind of machine to uh, cut the tail part. And because the tail part is a little bit dirty in some part, so they are cutting this part and the cutting this bone out and then they can grab the meat all the meat goes in uh, to, to, to the further cut, uh, cutting and uh, so this is uh, also a very interesting part okay remember once you can use this kind of automatic one you can see this kind of automatic one you can save a lot of labor you also can get a higher profit because in most of cases this kind of bone can be, cannot be used but in this case you can very easily use it, this kind of bone 
Okay. Once you are using this kind of form, and then the profit is coming. Okay. Remember, this is not only using the bone, but also the outside of the meat. Outside of the bone is the meat. This meat, we can uh, correct this meat to make, reconstruct the meat. To construct the meat, we can make a very good, uh, another kind of taste of the meat. Okay, and this one, you can cut it into the very regular, very good, standardized piece of the uh, the meat. Okay, so remember in the future you can see the, all these kind of things, not only from the company but also see this kind of thing in the field. And then you can remember these things and then you develop some kind of new method by your own way. Uh, you can develop some, some kind of engineering method to, to cutting the animals. Okay, and then technology of, for our meat and the, the meat products, a general category of the meat products, whole picture, how to make the uh, restructure, reconstruction, restructure the meat. Restructure meat is using a lot of small pieces of meat and it became a big meat. They are, it's not artificial meat, it's put all the pieces of meat became the meat. This is called the reconstruction meat. Sometimes the reconstruction meat taste is much better, even better than marble. Okay? How to utilize byproducts, for example, cottage, bone, etc. Okay? If you want to produce a cottage, and for some people, in, for example, in Taiwan, we use the cartilage to make some kind of cartilage rice. And then you can increase your cartilage and consumer, and also can sell a good price. Cooling and freezing facility and a container design and it's related to the microbiology. Be careful about this part because microbiology always uh, be higher in the uh, container. Why? Because they are temperature is increased and you will get trouble. How to use cooling method to achieve the meat? This is an interesting part. In many developing countries, they are using the meat. Just uh, go through the meat processing, but they do not mature them. And uh, in the many developed country, for example, in European country, American, they always mature the meat and uh, let the meat mature, and then they will taste much better. And the additive characteristics of the meat products. Okay, this is also very interesting, important part. The last uh, six, uh, certain, uh, chart may divide into two cores. A slot and the cutting and the meat products and the, their production. Okay, this is a very modern uh, three parts. And one more course, if you really have enough time, and uh, I think you have to ask the one of the teacher to involve the of waste management. Because if you do not have waste management, and then the slaughterhouse always cause big trouble about the fly, smelling, and everything, okay? So if you can have waste management, and then you will find, uh, you can treat this kind of waste, and you will find that the treated waste is very, in a very good condition, okay? If you want to see all this kind of thing, you can come to my country, and you have, can have a look, and we are treating this kind of waste, and it, it, at the moment it's quite good. Practical training. The practical training, we are training inside the university. The university is small size, have a small size strong house. Cutting house, processing house, the practical training center can be practical training place, teaching place, and a simple research place. I said it before, but we have to emphasize because we said it before, practical training is very important. The so inside the training center should include a simple strong house. Cutting place, organ, trader place, small meat processing factory, not automatic but can be done by machine. Okay, that is being semi automatic. Okay, this inside the university training can help your students have more uh, confidence to practical outside university in the future. Be easily accepted by the industry. Be easy. 
The manual says one. If you want your student easy accepted by the industry, they have to have training inside of university. Okay? And they say your teacher can be familiar to uh, the problem, familiar to problem and the troubleshooting. Okay? So instead of the university, if you have a house, you can know how to troubleshooting about the problems. Practical training outside the university. And you can, this is also very important. You are pro uh, propose the themes concentrating on the outside university training. Be careful if only outside training you will get sometimes you will get in trouble. This part needs the company to provide a flow chart to your student. It is important when your student go into the company, they need to give you a, ask the company to provide the flow chart okay to the student and they so they know the whole picture. Okay. Once they know the whole picture in the future, it is good for the student uh, to remember everything. Remember, we usually divide a student into clever and not clever. I am not belong to not clever people. And if I can understand the whole picture, and then I can, in some case, I can consider us a clever student. Why? Because once you know the whole picture, and you know everything. Okay. It's not easy to, to ask a company provider a class for your student. Not easy. Because your student may be one or two, two or three, maybe no more than five. And then if they, you want to ask them to give you a, you a class, and then they will spend a lot of time and they will complain. Okay? Uh, because I have experience about this kind of complaint. Then the student can read the flow chart to understand what kind of things going on. And in the future, when they go back to your place, you also they also can tell the other student what they are doing in this company and another important things. They can know the whole things, whole things for his whole life. All the students need to report by the PPT in class. Every student go outside. When they come back, they have to report to the class by PPT. Okay, that's the regulation of my student and uh, in the class. So they back, back to, to the class, they report. Why they report? They need to report because they need to think about once more by themselves. They also need to let other people know. And so in this case, they can remember these kind of things more detail, more clearly. Your university can ask us the support from the EU bank to construct and install the thing, this kind of simple slaughterhouse, cutting place, and the small meat processing factory. If you need any help, please call me, and we can give you some kind of support. Okay, finally, also, you do not have slaughter and the cutting house. You still can do a few study in your you Also, you do not have this slaughterhouse or cutting place house. You still can do some kind of study in your university. But most of this study is not easy to accept by the good journal. Remember, not easy to accept by the journal. But if you have a house and a cutting house, then your teacher and the postgraduate student can do many good study. Your university even can help industry to solve problems. Then your university and then your papers and all this kind of thing can promote your university you can make very good at your first. Okay. Thanks for your attention. Thank you for everyone. Do you have any question, comments or suggestion? Also, I cannot face to you. But if you have this kind of question, comments, suggestion, please don't hesitate to write it to me. Thank you.